on, on the one hand, that they had found a space for you to be looked after and they could carry on your treatment and they'd assist, assessed you as low risk. But on the other hand, you weren't getting any rest because how often were you being dis disturbed by people, as you say, going to that fridge but also coming in for supplies? Well, the three days I was in the room, I was constantly, because it, it doesn't stop. It's day and night, the ward is it's just working all the time. People are coming in and out all the time. Patients are being moved all the time. So all for three days, I was just getting little cat naps from time to time. Mm. But, but the worst is when they sort of wanted to get into this cupboard where the, uh, the drugs were. So I had to keep getting out of bed, moving my bed around so they could open the door of this cupboard. Yeah, um, I, it sounds absolutely miserable, I've got to be honest. Look, look, the, the, the hospital have given us a statement. The Princess Alexander Hospital NHS Trust says we accept that this situation is far from ideal, but we would not have considered it except, in fact, it was exceptional circumstances. He was at low risk, you were at low risk, and his notes confirm that you were reviewed regularly. What do you feel about that? Well, the time I got into the cupboard, I was on like, a third day of intravenous uh, antibiotics so the, the the first day i my uh, treatment basically was finished because the pain i had from my um, inflamed liver was basically gone but the blood uh, levels were not right so that's why they kept me in for three days until the doctor said right you can go home now your, your blood's okay and you will still take a, a, a while, a few weeks or a month, for your liver to sort of regenerate itself and get back to how you felt before you come in. Well, look, Michael, we had the Chancellor on earlier on, George Osborne, he, about half an hour ago, and we asked him how he would feel if a member of his family was left in a hospital cupboard to recover. This is what he had to say. Every time a patient doesn't get the treatment that they deserve, that's a matter of regret. It's a matter of regret to me, it's a matter of regret to every member of the government. Uh, you know, the first thing I'd say is the NHS staff are doing a brilliant job. Yes, this news coming to us via French news channel BFM TV. Normally a reliable source saying that last night two men in a car drove the wrong way up a one-way street outside the Elysee Palace.